very special guest, the Static Link. How are you guys doing? How's it going, man? <laughs> you guys, um, how are you guys uh, dealing with this whole COVID situation? Everyone managing to uh, somehow make to music throughout this process? Yeah, we're trying to work, working on a new single right now, but uh, yeah, just trying to roll with the punches, kind of, kind of screwed up a lot of shows for everybody and stuff. But. Yeah, okay, so this is the first time we got, you got. I have a full band. Uh, every 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 one of my interviews was just one or two per, people. So introduce you guys. Like, what do you guys play? All right, I'm Ben. You can see me over here. Uh, I play guitar. I don't think I would quite say lead guitar. We're kind of a co lead. We're kind of a co co lead. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm Radimus. I sing. JJ, other co-lead guitar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm guessing you're the drummer? Yep. <laughs> What's up, guys? <laughs> <laughs> we line up on stage, so we figured we'd just like, keep it the same. So, um, how'd you guys come about? Um, about a year and a half ago, I kind of... It was initially me... I just kind of started writing songs by myself. I played guitar in another band, but it was just kind of feeling like I wanted to do my own stuff. So I wrote um, this whole EP, recorded it with Danny Coleman. And then about that same time that I was getting the recording done, I was trying to find a band. And I looked into these three beautiful, beautiful gents right here. <laughs> so how long you guys uh, been a band? We started practicing full band like what? Uh, I think it's November or something like that. November, of, yeah, November 2019, give or take, give or take, maybe like October, December, something like that. So you guys are somewhat fairly new. Yeah, yeah, we're pretty new. We haven't even uh, played our first show yet. Really? Yeah, we were supposed to play our first show March 21st, but COVID beat us by a week, so we had to cancel. Yeah, it fucking sucks. I gotta say, I listened to the EP like countless times. Thank loved you. it, like from front to back. I loved it, man. You, whatever you guys have, you guys, you guys have something special. It's like a lightning trap in a bottle, you know. Just keep, keep going at it. So, what's like the band's main influences? Um, we all kind of have a bunch of different influences. Mine, mm -hmm. I kind of listen to more like the Bless the Falls, the Slipknot. Motionless and White, Ice Nine Kills, stuff like that. Uh, yeah, we're, uh, Billy and I are a little bit older than the other guys, so like, we used to talk about a lot of throwback stuff, like, we started getting into metalcore probably in like, early 2000s, like some of my favorite bands are Misery Signals and yes, yeah. I, um, a lot of stuff like that, I'm really into anything that's just like up-tempo. <laughs> fun guitar work so um there's not a lot of newer newer stuff that i like i feel like i'm always reaching back to a lot of the old school <laughs> and like i'll write a riff and these guys are like yeah, that riff's like so 2004 like, get that out of here so so it's uh there's a bit of difficulty when it comes to the writing process to to find that common ground i think it actually it's actually been like a plus in a way because um because of all the different influences, I just feel like we're whenever someone throws something out, it's like we're all pretty much on the same page with it. So there's a lot of different stuff like coming in from like, like a lot of like two different decades of like metalcore backing kind of. So we get kind of a good combination because no one's like I mean this this started as Red's thing, but like what's cool about that is that he's as far as writing new stuff, he's not like, it has to be this way. Like he's really into stuff we bring to the table too. So everything going forward is. So you guys are able to blend styles together and, and yeah. create what you guys made. Uh, again, like uh, the single, was it Alive? I believe? Yeah. Dude, <laughs> it, it's so good. So good. I, I'm like in my car and I'm jamming and I'm singing along to it. I'm like, this band is going somewhere. This band has to. Yeah. To headline or come to New York at one point, you guys. Yeah, you guys yeah that's, uh, fingers crossed, man. We're we're actually not too far. We're only in Ohio, so you know. Yeah. Maybe soon. 
So um, even though COVID has everyone who's writing music or playing shows put everything, COVID has put everything on a pause. What's next for you guys? Um, like we said, uh, new single. Uh, we're working on that now. Just kind of trying to get a bunch of content pushed out so nobody really gets too bored while we're okay. not to do anything. Um, and then, yeah, once COVID, op- like everything opens back up, definitely full throttle. Shows, yeah, yeah, for sure. You know, yeah, yeah. So, what guess. is your what is your favorite part about this line of work, and what's your least? <laughs> I, I wish yeah i mean we all we all work and, like do our own thing and i think one thing that's probably a downside of um not a downside but just kind of discouraging i think is like music industry right now as far as um getting heard amongst all the noise like there's there's just a ton of bands so yeah. we're trying to figure out ways to just get to stick out and we don't want to we've been like talking to like some management companies and stuff but again there's a ton of those too and we don't you know unless you know somebody it's you know we don't want to make like the wrong moves and I hear you. throw money and <clears throat> stuff that is not going to move us ahead so that's pro- I don't know for me that's something that's kind of a um, little bit weary but I just enjoy I just enjoy playing music and doing this stuff because like what I do for work is very different. So this like gets me out of my head and um, it's your outlet, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. I think that'd probably be the same for everybody in the band. Like I would, I 100% wouldn't be doing this if I didn't love writing music. If I didn't love playing music. You know, stuff like that. We all have regular jobs just because you know like he said you're not gonna get a whole lot of money especially being a new band so kind of gotta take things as they come i guess well for your first ep like i said you you guys have something and and just i'm like excited to hear the follow-up from you guys um so every band has an origin on how they got their name you know you have double Wars prada the day to remember you have escape the fate bless the fall how did you guys come up with a static wave? Brainstorming. Where, where, did I have it before? I can't, I can't, I can't, I, no, I can't remember. I honestly, oh, dude. Um, yes. <laughs> no, I like it. Realistically, it was just, I came up with a list of probably 10 or 20 names that would sound cool and kind of fit the style that we were going for. And this was the only one that kind of I, I asked a bunch of people around, and they were like, "Oh, well, you might, you might got some with that one." So, so yeah, it's not really any special story or anything the the behind it or anything like that. that. Trying to get something that sounds cool and that <laughs> we'll listen, you know. If you guys, um, if you guys can create a dream tour with four other bands, including yourself, what bands would you guys tour with? <laughs> you see, I, I come from my taste and a lot more death metal, death core, which would uh, really? probably fit with this, like a tour wouldn't fit right, but if I had to think about it, it'd probably be like Architects. Nice. Uh, yeah. uh, I don't really know anymore. <laughs> 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 Throw some suffocate in there. Yeah, those are good ones. Those are good ones. Uh, I would say, like, for me, like, this would be under Oath. I can definitely see that, yeah. Architects, for sure. Uh, uh, I like the plot in you. The plot in you is sweet. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, for me, I'd say, I know I, I said these at the beginning, but Slipknot would definitely have to be, like, the headliner. And then Beartooth, Less the Fall, and Iceland Kills. Nice. I haven't heard any, anything new from Iceland in a while, actually. Yeah, um, yeah no, I love Iceland Kills. They're like one of my favorite bands. Well, where do you guys see the band in the next five years? 
hopefully, uh, hopefully a little bit bigger than we are now. Kind of <laughs> a lot of yeah, you know. I don't really. Uh, yeah, hope uh, playing a lot more shows, getting getting around to hopefully. Fingers crossed. Max. Yeah, national at, at that point, but you know. Uh, yeah, yeah. The the last the last band that I I met Billy like. I don't know, three or four years ago, we were in another band together, and we did that for, you know, a couple of years, and, like, we got to the point where we had a good local following, but it just never reached much past that, and just, like, our online listeners just kind of tapered off, and it kind of becomes disheartening when your listener base becomes stagnant, and you're not really, like, playing out of town, so... Yeah. I think for this, we all want to take it up another notch, and, yeah, play with... Definitely when, like big acts come through Cleveland like we want to play it because a lot of a lot of shows come to Cleveland and a lot of big artists so we want to be that certainly that local band that gets on those shows um, and then maybe be offered to you know go on the road with the with the big band when we put a song out like get that have, traction for the band the attention yeah. to the band yeah have a have a listener base that when we drop a song it's already going on to like thousands of Spotify's not just like 50 and then we got a scratch and claw but um yeah just just growing i mean five years is, is a lot of time oh yeah for sure yeah so, definitely has yeah. um how's the music scene out there where, where are you guys at yeah there's there's a lot of really good local talent like when name drop drop a few of our friends here <laughs> like a sense of purpose and dreamwalker like two two of our closest friends that come to mind nine shrines yeah nine shrines um Nine, Nine Shrines actually, their their drummer is the ex drummer for Attack Attack. Really? Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're really seriously. Really? Right, really, really, really. they're from Ohio. But yeah, yeah, they are. They're from Ohio. Oh shit, that makes sense. Yeah, it's it's awesome. Awesome. <laughs> check them out. Maybe so good. Awesome. That, yeah. Any other ones? Yeah, I'd say well, yeah, he, he's not from here, so he's kind of. I I don't know my. My opinion, like I think the scene's very different from when I was growing up. I think more people went to shows. Yeah. I guess that's everywhere though. I don't think that's just Cleveland. I think it's just a different time with stuff online. It's so much easier to get music online and watch videos. Like that's just a difference to me. But I think Cleveland as a scene is still decently strong. I mean, everyone yeah, that comes I, through here. I don't think you guys have to put much of an effort to 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 pack out a show compared to like other areas where the scene is kind of thinning out because yeah, uh, the music the music scene in my area is kind of like there's very few bands that, that can actually pack out a show so it's it would, it would be hard to gain traction for another local act you know yeah. so um <clears throat> what what's the songwriting process for you like how do you, do you do you go in the day of or do you have the song or melodies in your head already pre-written so I think we're kind of all over the place. Initially, whenever I wrote the first EP, it was just like, I recorded stuff in Logic, like pieced it together, then took it to our producer, Danny Coleman. Um, but lately, yeah, we just kind of, he records, uh, he's close to him, so they record together. And then I'll come and, we'll all come and jam with uh, Billy. Uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of, super all over the place right now like i'll bring in a song he'll bring in a song sometimes a lot of pieces parts that we put together in practice just like yeah a ton of different ton of different ways that we kind of write stuff it's, it's, it's like uh for me yeah, i'm usually yeah, the day of guy in my band when i do that and write the day of because i would have the melodies i i would have so many melodies in my head and when i go into the studio it's just like ah oh, fuck like which one do i want to like work with or or decide to go with, you know? It's a real tough yeah. route. Um, yeah. As far as putting an actual song together, I wouldn't necessarily, like, if we have studio time already booked, I'll have, like, we'll have, like, a good idea of what the song's supposed to be mm. going into the studio, but we'll demo the hell out of them a bunch of times. Before yeah. yeah. So, I guess you guys are fairly new. You guys are probably not even, what, five months? So, um... Ish. Yeah, they're five months, six months. It's so. I mean, you guys haven't had any like any doubts. Like, what what keeps the band pushing forward? 
just the love of for for me personally, just the love of playing music. Like I you know, you'll take get frustrated and take a break from it and then a couple months will go by and you'll be like, Oh yeah, I forgot why I played music because now I kinda just wanna punch everything or something like that, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I think it's been it's been easy for me. Probably can speak for Billy a little bit too. But like, again, we were in the other band, and we were the only two out of five guys that really cared that much. So mm. that was really frustrating after a while. Yeah, just like, carrying it. Yeah, all four of us are like even ground as far as how much we care and are committed. So it's just at this point, it's been super easy. I mean, I'm sure there'll be adversity at some point, but like. Everything is going just real smooth, which makes it easy to want to come to practice and easy to want to like plan stuff and talk about it. Because really, if anything, we're being held back, right, with all the COVID stuff, which sucks. So yeah. like, we've got a lot of energy and drive that we're like wanting to give, just trying to, to, to put put all that energy out there. I hear you, man. Well, again, I want to thank you guys for like giving me the opportunity to interview you guys. This is something fairly new. You guys are automatically in the running for free artwork or free logo work from an artist paid by for by me. Um, there are several other bands that are in that. I will go into more detail Monday. I'll be releasing a video. But I want to thank you guys again for taking the time out of your day for allowing me to showcase you guys. Thanks for having us, man. Thanks, literally. Thank you. All right, guys. Well, this was Running with the Wolves with Static Link. The Static Link, I apologize. And again, thank you guys. Yeah, I think